follow me! Colorado Ken, what vest review? Okay, we are gonna do a gear review, brand new piece of gear. Now this thing is excellent. This is what you would call a what vest. And this is a vest. We're sitting on the chairlift right now, but it has a backpack attached to the back of it. And we're gonna show you more, but this is Colin's mid-end voyage with this. What vest, and this is the backpack that's attached to the vest. And it has a lot of other features to it that we will go through. But Colin, how does it feel so far? Feels good. So I can sit on the chairlift without, you know, being scared I'm gonna fall off. It's nice and slim. There's not a bunch of uh, straps and stuff like that to worry about getting caught up into the, uh, you know, the chair itself. So, so far so good. But like you said, I mean, we'll dive into deeper details here soon. Here we go. I am going to show you all the pockets on the what vest. This vest has nine pockets all over it. I'm going to start from the very front and show you every single pocket. Right here, you have a chest pocket. I keep my goggles in there, my spare lens. On this side, you have another chest pocket that opens up and it has an additional smaller pocket in there as well that you can hold uh, your wallet if you want to or any additional paperwork that you might need. These two front lower pockets are very large slanted zippers can hold a lot of gear. Slants up like this, opens here, but inside the pocket there is an additional clip. That clip is there so that you can lanyard a avalanche beacon to. Now in the front of this vest here, when he unzips it and opens it up, he can wear it and it's got these. These are some strap buckles that if it's a hot day, he can wear this vest wide open and there's another buckle here so that he can, can get the airflow in there if he needs to. Now then, if I unhook this, I wanna show you the inside pockets. The inside pocket here is a large, very large mesh pocket. A lot of people will keep their goggles and their goggle lenses in these pockets. What we did is we have a radio here and then a radio hooked there. On this side, there is also a very large pocket. The back of this vest is where the magic is. This is called a what vest? Bam, right there. The reason that this vest is so excellent is because of this mechanism back here, which is a backpack. I can unzip this, open it up with uh, Colin the Sparrow just standing there. Nothing's gonna fall out of the bottom. We did this multiple times today. We were grabbing poles out of here, GoPro recorders, shovels, and he has, well, I'll just show you. Deep down in here, he's got all of his hats, gloves, and everything else. And it's going to stay nice and solid, packed into that bottom pocket area. My second favorite part of this backpack is these pocket here. This is a large kangaroo pocket that goes all the way through the bottom. The zipper unzips here. See? And there's his phalanges hanging out there. 
he actually had his arm tucked in from this side over here. Excellent. Now, we're gonna show you how to strap your skis and your snowboard to this wet vest. Then you can go out and do backcountry snowboarding and skiing. In order to strap skis to this vest, you have this loop up here, and then down here, you undo this, or pull up that pocket, and then this loop comes right out there, and the skis will set diagonally on his back and that lets him walk a little bit easier. Let me show you exactly what this looks like. This is how these skis set up here. We have this pull strap that pulls across and hooks up right here. You can tighten that lever down. Then down at the bottom, we had this loop strap that the bottom of the skis go into. As you can tell, these skis are setting diagonally on his back. That is so that his legs won't hit his skis while he's walking. I love this vest. Look at how this vest carries my snowboard. It's incredible. It will also carry my shovel and my avalanche probe, my beacon, my radio, extra gloves. It's got everything. Ah! Oh, oh my God. Man.